When you purchase SBI Valve Train components, that blue and yellow box represents 40 years of industry knowledge, R&D, quality that exceeds OEM standards, and outstanding customer service, as well as a dedicated team, ready to help no matter your application needs. That's how SBI keeps engines humming. Jeff Alenko, Diesel Performance here for another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, I've done some in the past about uh, valve lash, but I just kind of taught myself a new method that uh, gets you accurate results every time fast as far as the actual getting down to the thousands on, on your feeler gauge. I just wanted to show that really quick. So as I've shown before, I use, I use my degree wheel when I set lash, it's fast, easy, accurate. So I'm on number two, number two cylinder here, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my new method. So start with placing my feeler gauge between the rocker arm and the bridge. And I go right to size. So in this particular engine, I'm doing 12 and 22. So get on there. And then the pull part. So I'm using an inch pound dial torque wrench. If you're setting up bringing pinions or manual transmissions, you should have one of these. Really handy tool. I find them, I use them a lot. So what we're doing is we're getting a measurable amount of torque applied to the adjuster so we can have the same amount of drag every time. So go ahead and get in on the, uh, the face of the dial here. So we're looking for just shy of five inch pounds. So basically we just wanna move that dial right there. And then we'll try to get this one. Okay. So again, just shy of five inch pounds. Uh, that gets th the feel that I like. Uh, and we'll show you. So now we go ahead and hold our adjuster, tighten the jam nuts. All right, and we're here, so 22. Really nice and consistent, good drag. There's my 12, so. Uh, like I said, again, that, that just, it's just about consistency and being quick. Every time it's gonna be right on the first time. Um, you know, normally you go in there and you tighten it down. Everybody's got their feel, everybody's got their method. You tighten down, you go, ah, oh, hell, that, that's a little bit on the loose side. Crank it back loose, do it again, then maybe this time we got it tight. So you might be doing it two or three times. Sometimes you get lucky and it's fine. But this is fast, easy, accurate every time it repeats. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So stay tuned for next week, thanks.